Today is another quick update on DFN and I'm going to tell you what's happening with this stock and what's a NAV update that we have right now because the NAV will actually uh, tell you the valuation of the uh, these particular funds if you are interested to buy or you're interested to sell. So the first we'll start with uh, this um, the, the chart. Uh, we see the movement of today and yesterday. So we look at today, price right now is about 3.94. Uh, and it was down about 1.25. You know, we look at the 52 week range. If you didn't know the movement, it was is between 344. So the lowest has gone uh, so far within the 52 weeks, which is like about a year, is about 344 to uh, 8 and 9 cents. So volume is to, if today was about uh, 154,000 or on average. Um, on average is almost about uh, almost a half a million, which is a pretty uh, big volume for this particular fund um, We look at the dividends right now. It's more than 30% if we look at um, it, it pays 120 and the price of today with 394 is like about a 30 plus percentage Which is a pretty good if you are investing in dividend. Unfortunately right now they don't pay dividends uh, they were in div dividend posts or distribution posts. So until the NAV comes back to 15, then they're going to start to pay. But for now, you can't get anything if you buy today. Um, but if you buy today and then, for for example, they start paying in the future, then you will be getting a huge dividend, about 30%. But before buying, is it value? What's the value of this particular uh, ETF at this moment? Because last month, uh, last month and a couple weeks ago, I actually... Uh, give you the update on the NAV net asset value because we look at the net asset value, we can evaluate how much a fund is. So that's how you can evaluate funds. It's not like a stock. We look at the, we're going to uh, a dividend 15 speed corp. Or this is a Quadrivis website. So you know, they drill, they invest in uh, core holdings. There are uh, banks and um, some uh, insurance companies and also some energy company like TC Energy and Transalta Corporation. And of course, there are two type of funds, uh, two type of uh, shares or stocks. So there's a preferred and there's a regular or class A, which is what I'm talking about here. Um, um, so between the two, they have NAV of $15. This update just came out actually uh, just a lot on Friday. So we look at the valuation here, um, October 13, 2023. 20, uh, Today is uh, October 17th. So that was a Friday. We'll look at NAV pre-distribution is 1421. Last month, last week or a couple of weeks ago when I made a video it was about uh, 1433. Uh, so with this, that mean the NAV has gone down at asset value, you know, since uh, my previous video. So we can calculate how much you are getting discount if you buy today, because that's the main reason why you're buying. So we are going to do same as we did before. I showed you how we do that. We'll take the price of today, which is 3.94. Um, and we'll divide that one by NAV, which is, uh, so because these are two type of shares, right? There's a preferred share and then a class A share. So we're only going to take uh, we'll assume a uh, class A because it's the, 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 the preferred share actually takes the big chunk of the, 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 the whole net asset. So we're going to give $10 to a uh, class preferred share. And then we are taking only 421 to uh, give to us a uh, class A uh, holder. So now we are taking, so the valuation right now will be only 421. Uh, That's enough that left for this uh, uh, class A share. So we take 421, divide that by 4.21 uh, minus 1 equal to 6 times 100. Uh, see? So right now you're only getting discount of 6%, 6 you know, versus what it was, uh, previous video was about 19%. So you're not getting a really good discount uh, given the uh, risk that you're taking. So that's kind of an update I just want to, um, you know, update you on. And what pisses me off about this particular uh, fund or Quadravis is the way they up to update. Uh, they do update their nav every pretty much two weeks. So the, the last update was on the October, uh, uh, September 29th. And then, then the next one, which this one is October 13th. So it's about like 15 days. 
when you look at the other funds like a Brampton, they have a pretty much similar uh, similar fund, which is Dividend a Growth Split Corp at DGS. This particular one, look at this. Um, this also is a split fund. So it's a pretty much the same class as the other one. But this, the good thing about this one, they do update on a regular basis. If you look a couple of days after, this NAV will be updated again. So DGS tends to update their NAV pretty often, um, where DFN, they don't update their NAV as often. And that pisses me off. Um, you know, that's all I have for today. If it's your first time, just make sure you subscribe. Because of this channel, Mr. Money Man channel, I always give you an update on these type of funds that you're holding. You don't want to miss an uh, update on investment you're investing on. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching and subscribe and hit the thumb button. Bye-bye.